Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I guess I'm returning to you sooner than you thought, uh, cause I had to take off work, cause it, I don't wanna explain why, it just wasn't feeling good, honestly, so, yeah, I'm returning to you for a album review, and this is for the first Marathon Studio album review for the Coldplay marathon album reviews I decided to do starting today all the way to October 2nd which is uh for the album Parachutes that I just got done listening to the debut studio album so I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for this 52 minute album I guess you could say because I heard the extra tracks with it so yeah and I'll let you know my thoughts on it so let's dive into this review. Now, I gotta say, this was a really good album. Um, yeah, some of the songs seem very mellow, but that's Coldplay's style that they were going for. Um, they had some songs that did get a little heavy, but towards the end of the album, it did get very mellow, honestly. And that could be a factor where it's not very impressive, but I think it works. I think this album was really good for what it went for. Uh, Don't Panic is the first track on the album, and it's only like 2 minutes and 17 seconds, so it's not a very long song. Uh, it opens the album pretty well. And then comes Shiver, which has acoustic guitars in it, or acoustic guitar that Chris Martin's playing in the song or whatever. And I saw the video, of course, too. So he's playing an acoustic guitar in it. And then the good regular lead guitar sounds really good in this song, and so does the drum work. It's pretty uh, amazing. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm just, like, a little tired. And I got up like a few hours ago, so I still feel tired, honestly, but yeah, um, Spies is the next song, and for the five minute runtime it went for, it's really good, Chris Martin does a lot of falsetto vocals in this whole album, and not to say that it's a bad thing, it just, it works, and then there's times where it doesn't work, like one, Two of the songs, for example, uh, We Never Change was, had too much falsetto in it, and I just wasn't feeling for the song as much. Then comes Careful Where You Stand, and it wasn't bad, but it could have done a little better. It was my least favorite song on the album. Everything's Not Lost, the closing track did very good. Um, for 7 minutes and 17 seconds, it's an enjoyable song. It goes from Everything's Not Lost, and then it goes into the next song, which is Life is for Living. And that was not surprisingly that bad. Yellow is a favorite song of mine. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to sound. And the way I imagined it would sound was different. But, huh. yeah, it still was a good song for what it went for, and Trouble was really good, so was the title track, even though it was a interlude, I guess you could say, um, then comes High Speed, and Sparks, I forgot to mention Sparks, so please forgive me if I'm skipping some of the songs I didn't mention, but it was, Sparks was really good, for, like, over three and a half minutes, and then, uh, please forgive me, I'm just uh, yawning like crazy, kind of, uh, but, and then uh, High Speed, I going back to that song, sounds really good instrumentally, and Chris Martin's vocals in it is pretty good, um, the final song for you, Closes out the album pretty nicely. Uh, it's some mellow tracks, so it's only like 
it is a little lengthy, so it's almost six minutes long. But mixing, production-wise, and execution, this album didn't do that terrible. I think it was a really good album. I would definitely buy this album, for sure, in the future sometime. Uh, I can't afford it right now because of my budget and things being tight on money and all that. Uh, but, yeah, I wanted to check this album out and do the Coldplay Marathon album reviews so you guys have something to enjoy for the next few weeks. And this is to prepare you guys for my upcoming review for the Music of the Spheres that's coming out October 15th. So I'm doing these marathon album reviews and dedication to that album going to be coming out in a few weeks. So yeah, overall, I think Coldplay's Parachutes album was really good. Highly recommend you check this album out if you haven't listened to it yet. And yeah, um, majority of the songs were really good. Like 10 out of 12 songs were very good. Um, but yeah, Ooh. sorry, I'm still a little tired, so I'm just trying to wake up a bit, <laughs> uh, I felt like I didn't get a good night's sleep, but I know I did, but it just feels like I didn't, <laughs> sometimes, so, first score, I'm gonna give Coldplay's Parachutes album a 9 out of 10, this was a really good album, highly recommend you check it out, if you haven't heard it, um, it's probably one of my favorite albums from them to start their discography off. Uh, so, yeah. Um, the next album review is going to be tomorrow for Coldplay's A Rush of Blood to the Head, I think is what it is. So, yeah, you'll be seeing that review tomorrow. And, yeah. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Coldplay album review I did for Parachutes, if you've heard it. I know it's the 2000 album, so it's like over 20 years old. So, yeah. It was a really good album. I, I had a good time listening to it. Um, It was a good listen. So, if you did like this album review I made for you guys for Coldplay Parachutes comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel i guess i'll be returning to you for another album review uh for enrique iglesias's final album which is called final um because it is his last album for his music career uh that's what he's saying so but you never know with some artists, they could take a long break. And then they'd come back. <sighs> come back and uh, just make more music, I guess you could say. Uh, but he might feature in majority of other songs in the future, but I don't know for sure. But yeah, the next... That'll be the next video I do for Enrique Iglesias' last album, Final, um, for his music career. And then more talk on Lil Nas X's Montero album. And I'll give you my initial thoughts on what I think of it now, after listening to it multiple times. So, I hope you enjoyed this album review for Coldplay Parachutes. Like I said, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Stay safe. Take care, and as always, I'll see you in my next review.